Hi, this is Dustin Newman with Hilltop Disposal. In this video, I'm going to discuss open versus cased hole completions. So on this side, I've got an open hole completion and this side cased. What's the difference between the two? Well, in an open hole completion, you drill down and run casing to the top of your disposal zone. You drill out to the bottom of your disposal zone and then run a liner. A liner is a piece of pipe with holes or slots cut in it. Uh, so that the water can be injected into the disposal zone. In a cased hole completion, you drill right down to the bottom of your disposal zone, run casing and cement the whole thing into place, and then afterwards perforate through the casing. Now, what perforations are shaped uh, explosive charges that blow holes through the side of your casing, through your cement, and into your formation. Now, why would you do one versus the other? Well, it really comes down to thickness of your disposal zone. So if you have a really thick zone, uh, it's going to be a lot more cost effective to drill out and run the liner because uh, perforating costs quite a bit of money. If you've got a very thin zone, let's say you've got a 5 meter zone, well if it's that thin, it makes sense to just run casing right to the bottom, cement it into place and then perforate holes into it. So a big thick zone, you're going to want to run a liner. A thin zone, you're going to want to uh, run casing and perforate it. Where's the balance point between the two? Well, um, you'll have to do the math on perforating versus uh, running the liner. I would say if you get anywhere close to a break-even point between the two, you'll run, want to run the liner uh, just because it uh, gives you more options. Um, with perforating, what happens is you're going to shatter your cement and, and it's potentially it could cause some issues with that down the road. Whereas with an open hole system, um, I just like the options you get further down the road with it.